obvious question, probably the theme for a few questions <laughs> after this. Not the greatest shooting night. Uh, 24, yeah, 24.6%. Three of 24 from three points, taking 24 three-point shots. Not usually what this team does. Um, address it, I mean. Um, I mean, we're a confident team on uh, offense, and, you know, if we have an open good shot, then we're going to take it in. The three was open tonight. So, you know, we're not going to shy away from any shots that we feel are good. And, you know, the three was open. It just didn't fall. But, you know, uh, we spend a lot of time shooting in the gym, so we know with repetition we're going to have a great offensive day coming up. Thank you. Uh, just to add up to what he said, uh, it's not like we're taking back shots or anything like that. I think it's – most of them were uh, pretty much wide open. And uh, uh, Coach Fisher keeps saying, you know, just be confident, you know, have that swagger uh, once you step on the court. So we just got to be ready to knock it down uh, going on to Maui. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I can't deny that the, the first few games, you know, I was a little bit nervous. But uh, with the help of my teammates, you know, they keep – we have a lot of veterans on this team, so um, they keep talking to me once I step on the court, uh, letting me know what I have to do. Um, and they, they give me a lot of confidence, you know. Uh, when I make a shot, they'll tell me good shot. Um, if I find them, they'll tell me good pass. You know, all those little things, just communication on the floor, uh, it can help a lot uh, on the confidence. That's my young. He ready. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, BYU? BYU. Oh, I don't, I don't think we know you nothing about that. Score a little bit. I, I'm assuming you're gonna have to shoot a little bit better. Have, have you a low chance in that game? Uh, I don't want to big up our defense too much, but uh, our defense the last two games has been pretty, pretty good. Would you, would you say so, Mark? So that's all I gotta say about that. Our defense is ready. Our offense is just gonna pick it up. Um, I think he gave us a ton of energy, you know, at times we look really flat and, you know, coach tried to keep telling us, pick our energy up, pick our energy up. And, you know, that's just the type of guy uh, Dakari is. He's going to bring a lot of energy throughout the whole season. Uh, he's going to pick up, he's going to get steals, blocks, rebounds, whatever we really need him to do to uh, give us that extra boost coming off the bench. Do you think he was the main reason that you guys really kind of pulled away somewhat in that second half? Um, I think he had a big reason to do it. It's, you know, it was a whole team effort, so I'm not just going to say that uh, Dakari uh, did it. But, you know, he played a major part. You know, he got a lot of deflections, a lot of loose balls. So, you know, that was, that's a big deal for us. Well, he got his first minutes today. I think you guys are talking. You see him in practice every day. Um, and obviously, this is his first game in really almost two or three years. But how good is this guy going to be? Man. Malik got NBA written all over that boy, man, for real. Yeah. As soon as he get comfortable, uh, the opposing team is going to be in trouble because he got a lot of talent and he ready. Along with Kevin Zabo, along with Trey Kale, along with Z when he get back as well. But it's definitely fun to see Malik back on the court because in practice he's fun to watch. Yeah, as a, as a freshman who spends a lot of time with him, uh, I, I kind of I had a big big smile on my face when he scored that first bucket. You know, I, I was very happy for him. Um, people don't realize that he he hasn't been playing for like almost two years. So his first game back is gonna be uh, <clears throat> on the college court. You know, with a big crowd. I'm sure he was nervous, and he he still got uh, lots of things to learn. But like like uh, AQ said, you know, he got NBA ring all over him, and I, I'm sure he'll be fine once he get a, his rhythm back. <clears throat> I can't remember, no. The last uh, time. I can't recall when it's the longest I haven't uh, given up a basket, but I know we've had, last year we had a great defensive team, and I think uh, we're a mirror image of that team. So, you know, it wouldn't be a surprise to see that a couple times this year. Are, are you guys aware that they're, I mean, they were over 20 to start the game, they had zero up there. Are you guys thinking, man, we, we might be able to get to the half and not have them score? Is that, is that the back of your mind? I, mean, just, I don't know if that's ever happened. No, it wasn't on our mind because every time we kept coming to the huddle, you hear from the coaches. So it's hard to look up at the scoreboard when they're in your face like that. So they don't give you any time to think about what's going on during the game. It's always the next play. It's always focused more on us 
as what we're doing as a team. It's never what the opposing team is doing. Uh, I think we're going to shock a lot of people, you know. We're just trying to uh, – uh, we still have a lot of new pieces, still trying to, you know, figure figure each other out, see where everybody likes the ball. So, you know, I think once we get our chemistry where it, where it really is going to be and where it needs to be, you know, I think, you know, teams should be worried about us more than we should be worried about them. Yeah, I was about to say, do you think they're thinking that in that locker room right now? Yeah, no, it definitely helped a lot. Just the fact that um, I'm from the East Coast, you know, I, I had to get a, a used to a lot of things. And uh, but like I said, you know, I, I have great teammates. You know, we're all like a one big family, and uh, they did a great job just helping me. And uh, it wasn't very, very hard to you know uh, adjust because I, I've been away from home, you know, since my my high school career. So I'm kind of used to it. But I, I know I got the support of my family back home. You know, I still call them every day. I know they're watching my games. So I'm I'm cool with it. Kevin sounded like a vet with these questions, huh? <laughs>